Okay, we have a uh, expedition update. Uh, over this past summer, we made some pretty large investment upgrades for this uh, two-inch little lift kit with uh, ITP tires. Uh, these tires are so aggressive that I had to run Gorilla front axles. Yep. I had a lot of problems with the stock ones breaking, popping apart. These Gorilla ones are awesome. Well worth the money. I paid $7.50 for them. A lot of money, but they don't break. Their boots themselves, the rubber they make them out of, can stretch before ripping quite considerably. But I had a stick hit these since I don't have inner guards yet. Well, well made boots. Good investment. Uh, I do a lot of extreme four wheel drive with this, being that it's all good for with these tires. Uh, yesterday, we were going for a ride, and the motor seemed to uh, have a problem with the timing chain or something. It locked up, shut down. Sounds like it got no compression. So, we took all the plastic off it today. Give it a good bath. We're going to take this uh, valve cover off. Possibly the, we're going to take the breather tube cover off from the tam timing chain cover. Right here. We'll check to see if uh, we are headed in the right direction with the timing issue. Otherwise, this machine's got almost 5,000 miles on it today. This will be the very first time this motor's ever been taken apart other than for the pull start, which I don't have a rope there anymore. Had numerous pull start issues with it, but that's about it. But uh, out back we have that Dura Blue Axle Kit. You can see this sticker from the old days is there. And Dura Blue Hubs. So to handle all these tires. Pretty cool. Uh, so this update is not the best update. It's down, broken. But I'll keep you updated and let you know what's going on inside the motor. If I have to go deep, we're going to punch it out for a little bit more horsepower. If I could get another 7 horsepower out of this, which would be a lot to work, it would be cool. But, Alright, that's it, folks. Okay, we got the uh, inspection breather cover off this engine here. The timing chain, I've already pulled it out from a lot of wear, it broke in half. But I still have reason to believe more than that happened. If you see here, look at this. Right there. Oops, a little too focus. Right there, you see this. It doesn't, it did wear, but I think something broke. And I tried turning this uh, sprocket here with the wrench just to see if it budge a little bit. Seems like it's locked. So I'm gonna take this valve cover off here. Take a further inspection here. And uh, I'll get back to you. All right, <clears throat> I got the gas tank removed and the valve cover removed. I took out what's left of the chain here, right here in the box. Um, this here is good. You see the pin still there, so the pin's not in the motor. And you see the link on the other end here. Broken. So now get in here in the head. Valve covers off. You see the rockers for the valves. You know, single overhead cam. There's the sprocket. I did notice uh, I can't even budge it. So we have a, a, a camshaft that seized in the head. And as you can see, it, it does look kind of dry up here. I don't know if it's getting, it looks like it's getting oil, but something happened. So we're going to have to take some more apart. We'll get back to this video and we'll keep you updated. So for right now, uh, we got the chain out. I got the rocker assembly off. The quad's over here in the dark, back way in the way back 40 of our shop. Um, I'll get back to you tomorrow and we'll uh, 
keep you posted on what's going on with my camshaft that does not turn. Uh, I'm hoping it's uh, just a broken oil pump or burnt out because uh, otherwise it's going to cost me a lot of money. And uh, that's going to suck. So, Littlefoot's dead!